I'd like to make a point of order first before we get into uh, public comment. Um, it's in regard to the consent agenda. As you know, many times, uh, my name is John Farnham, 902 Gray Fox Lane, I'm sorry. Um, many times I have asked for items to be put on the agenda. And many times I have been ignored and I've been told answers that weren't quite what should be given. Um, and uh, having had quite a bit of experience with Robert's rules, I'd like to point out uh, that the consent agenda is supposed to be put at the top of the meeting. Okay, you're not supposed to go through the agenda and then just put it in front of new business. And um, I'll, I'll read right from Robert's Rules. And the question in Robert's Rules is, how can I get an item on the agenda for a meeting? For a proposed agenda to become an official agenda for a meeting, it must be adopted by the assembly at the outset of the meeting. At the time that an agenda is presented for adoption, it is in order for any member to move to amend the proposed agenda by adding any item which the member desires to add or by proposing any other change to the agenda. It is wrong to assume, as many do, that the president sets the agenda. It is, a com it is common for the president to prepare a proposed agenda, but that agenda binding is binding only if it's adopted by the full assembly, perhaps after amendment just as described. Therefore, uh, at this point, I, I would like a counselor to make an, um, a recommendation to amend this agenda and put the referendum for the school up for discussion. Is there any such motion? Okay. Not uh, hearing any. It just, it just proves that we want to consistently mute the people of Rocky Hill. Now I, I'll go into the public speech, comment, please. Uh, just make a couple of comments first. The last refer referendum, uh, we, we, are, uh, uh, do, we were saying we were doing that because our schools are overcrowded and aging. So the last referendum was, was going to be and to correct the future of our schools for the next 25 years plus. And it was for $20 million less than this agenda, uh, this referendum. So, some quotes that have been in the various articles. Uh, uh, Superintendent Villar, it, it, it's my obligation to make sure that these referendums go. Some schools uh, are, are showing their age and some are overcrowded. Board of Education, President McDonald. The, the, sorry. Uh, oh, the, the economy, this was in regard to the last referendum, the economy w was probably the blame for the previous failure. Uh, school renovations are a priority for the school board and should continue to be. Then, with the, no name, but the comment was printed anyway. The, the town wants to offer full day kindergarten, but efforts have, have, have been stalled by the lack of space. Now, no one can disagree that every other time we were going for a referendum, we were doing it because at least what appeared to be the, the main problem was the uh, overcrowding of the schools. So what do we do now? Now we go from 
three elementary schools to two elementary schools. And we go with some false and misleading uh, 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 statements as to regard of how many students are currently in our schools. And in, in Moshe School, there were 83 students cited on, on the, the documents that were proposed to the public, and there are 83 students. In Stevens, it, the documents say there were 483 students, there were 500. In West Hill, it says there were 594 students, there are 625. I brought this up at two other meetings, and I'm getting the same response tonight that I'm going to get that I got in the other meetings. It's just totally ignored. This is false, misleading information. The schools, the two schools that they are building will accommodate um, 1,172 students. We currently have 1,208 students in the school. Once again, as soon as those schools are built, if they're built, uh, we will be over capacity to start with. The, the, um, uh, the way the referendum is being proposed, it, leaves, it leads, leaves out of the referendum two and a half million dollars that will become an obligation in the school year 2011 to 2012. Now the comment, the comment was made, I, I was at the meeting when, when John Muir attempted to present this, uh, and someone said to him, well, we, uh, we don't understand it, we'll, we'll, we'll get that discussed after. Um, but as John Muir said at that time, if you don't put it in the referendum, it's going to have to go into the budget in the 2011 session. So now we have two, two and a half million dollars missing from that. I, I mean, these are very serious items. What is he talking about? Uh, 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 the, uh, <coughs> I, I don't know if you intend to do anything about it, but uh, I, I, I think if a miracle occurs and this referendum gets passed, you're going to face a big problem because the, these things have to be brought to the attention of all the public. And, and, and although I've said them at meetings, uh, nobody pays attention to them. Um, there, there are And, and, and the, the part that bothers me, uh, I'll tell you even how it came about. Before, the, before uh, the council even voted on this, uh, and we had that last public hearing, I called the Board of Education and pointed out all of the problems with these numbers. Uh, they stated that they weren't aware of them. Uh, get, they asked for my phone number so they can call me back. Five minutes later, Friar called me back, and his answer was, yes, I know it. I know it. But, he said, that's why we're building Moses School, because we have plenty of room to expand on it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Farnham. Is there anybody else under meeting open to the public, or public comment? <coughs> 